Egyptian media report that at least 26 Coptic Christians have been killed as gunmen attacked their bus traveling to a monastery south of the capital Cairo. And this year's G7 summit of the world's major economies is underway in the Sicilian coastal city of Taormina. The seven leaders have already been talking shop amid the ruins of an ancient Greek amphitheater. Estonia is expelling two Russian diplomats. Russia's foreign ministry has told RT that the unfriendly action will not go unanswered. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Nikki Aaron and you're watching RT International. We start this hour with breaking news. Estonia is expelling two Russian diplomats from Moscow's consulate in the northeast of the Baltic state. We can now cross live to our correspondent Maria Fenoshina for more details on this. Maria, do we know the reasons behind uh, Tallinn's decision? Actually, no. There are still more questions in this story than answers. What we know for sure so far is that the two senior Russian diplomats have been ordered to leave Estonia earlier on Friday. And that was confirmed to RT by the Russian embassy in this Baltic country, as well as by Estonia's foreign ministry. Both added that they cannot give any further information. So the reasons so far are still unclear. The Russian foreign ministry told RT that they consider this decision, quotation, yet another unfriendly and absolutely groundless act. And they also promise that this will not go unanswered. I have to say that the relations between Russia and Estonia, one of the former Soviet republics, have in fact never been um, easy. But it is really at this point hard to say without speculating what exactly was behind this particular decision. So we have to wait and see. Back to you. Okay. Nikki. Thanks for that, Maria. As soon as those details do become available, we'll We'll be bringing you here, sure. bringing them to you here on RT International. Well, children are among the dead and wounded after gunmen opened fire on a bus carrying Egyptian Coptic Christians in the south of Cairo. Local media report that at least 26 people have been killed. Our Middle East correspondent Paula Slia has the details. Well, the death count unfortunately looks as if it's set to climb. We're receiving figures also from the health ministry that at least 25 people have been injured, amongst them children. Ambulances are at the scene where security forces have set up a perimeter around the incident and they are ferrying the injured to nearby hospitals. We understand from eyewitnesses that the bus was heading towards an ancient monastery in the Egyptian city of Minya, which is around 220 kilometers south of Cairo. Eyewitnesses say that there were anywhere between eight and a dozen masked gunmen wearing military uniform who stopped the bus and immediately started firing at passengers on board. What is interesting is that two days ago there was a warning issued by the American embassy in Cairo that a terror attack was imminent. This comes on the eve of Ramadan. As of yet, there has been no claim of responsibility, but certainly the situation in Egypt has been volatile for a long time time and the roughly 10 percent of the population's Egyptian Christian Copts have been targeted in the past. You remember that last month there was a twin suicide bombing in the cities of Tanta and Alexandria. Those were claimed by Islamic State and they left more than 46, 44 people dead and more than a hundred injured. Now last month's attacks did see the Egyptian president call for a three-month state of emergency that would be across the nation and this was to try and deal with the increasing threat by Islamic militants. But for some time now, the country's Christian minority has said that they feel unsafe and they feel that the government is not doing enough to protect them.